the ultimate tool for content creators. And now it's not overreaction. You'll see. It's called Demo Creator and it is from Wondershare. If you head over to wondershare.com and click here on video creativity, you will find it here. Demo Creator. Record like a pro, edit with AIEs. That's it in a nutshell. But you will go crazy after you see the features. First of all, you can try it out for free. It's a tool which is downloadable on your device. So if you click on try it for free, you will be led here in order to download and install. Installing it just like any other tool, it's not complicated. You have to make yourself an account and yeah, let me just show you the features. So this is the tool, all right? Here, you will just head over to your profile and you can easily create yourself an account once you download this one for free and start using it to see if it's good for you or not. Now, the first thing that I wanna show you is the video recorder feature. And if you just click on this button, it'll open this prompt. First of all, you can choose whether you wanna record your screen, your camera, which is connected to your device, or if you just wanna select the audio version. So if you just wanna record the audio from your device, then you can select a game. There's virtual avatars as well, and I'm gonna talk about that briefly later on. And then you've got video presentation. Video presentation is, for example, if you wanna present something via online meeting, let's say that you're on Zoom or something like that. And I'll show you this one as well briefly. Now, this can be used whether you have some educational content. For example, if you're doing some tutorials, you can use this for games, you can use this for streaming, and it's gonna make your life a lot easier. Have a look at this. If I just click on screen, let's just type in screen. First of all, you can select what kind of screen this will be, as you can see right here. If you click here on this button, it'll select you, for example, YouTube, which is 16 by nine. If I just click on that, this is gonna be the screen. So this is 1920 by 1080, and you can expand, or you can reduce the size of this one. That's the first feature. So I always wanted to record part of my screen and not edit that later in any editor like Premiere Pro or whatever. But now you can connect all of that and they've got editor as well and I'll show you that as well. But the first feature is that you can reduce or increase the size of this window that you want to be recorded. It's just great. The second option that I like is that you can just use the aspect ratio for TikTok or for Instagram, right? And this is one more thing that will make your life easier later in the post processing, right? So if I just click on TikTok, it'll select this and you can move this around, right? So for example, if I wanted to make a quick TikTok video on how to download and install demo creator, I can just move it like this take the first screen and then just move it like this. It's it's powerful, all right? But of course, you can just click here and click on full screen. And now it's just gonna select your screen in whichever aspect ratio or resolution it is. But I'll just use now this, all right? And I will switch to my window that I want to record. Let's say that I'm making a Premiere Pro tutorial and I just wanna teach people, let's say that how to zoom in at a certain part of the video, right? First of all, down here, you can select your audio device, whichever one you use. So this is for me, this is Audient. And here is the device sound, right? So in this case, I'll just use default system audio. And here, this button is schedule. This is also one really good features, especially for streamers. You can make a start and end time for screen recording. It's just great, right? You can select recording area and all of them degree and just set a recording task. It's powerful. So let's just start with this one. Click on this red button here. I don't have a camera. If you don't have a camera, this will show up, but just click on continue. And in three seconds, it's gonna start. So this is what I'll do. First of all, let's just say that I wanted to zoom at this girl's face at the end of the video, right? So for example, I have some students and I wanna show them that they can just put a keyframe right here, move it like this, add another one just like this and to the girl's face, and then the video is gonna look like this, all right? You can just select these, right click on them, ease in, and then just ease out, and that's gonna be how to zoom in in a certain video part. Okay, but now this feature is gonna blow your mind. It blew my mind, all right? Just have a look at this. If you click here on this button, which is located here, 
you've got a lot of these little tools and you can actually draw on this recording. It's crazy. Have a look at this. I want it to, for example, show the keyframes. I choose the color of this one and then I just do this. This is actually crazy. You can draw on the screen recording or you can just use a circle. I just use this. So for example, I want to show my students. This is where you put the keyframe, right? And you can do numerous stuff here. It's, it's, it's just crazy. If you make a mistake, there's eraser tool here. You just erase this one, erase this one, this one, this one, this one. And then I just want to make a circle, specify where they should put this keyframe, right? It's an enormous help, right? I don't want to tell you how many times I've looked up Premiere Pro tutorials just to make this in the post, right? Or you have this. This is like a cursor, you know? This is very good for content creators, which are in the tutorial educational space, right? You can add this in post as well. I'll show you later, but it's a good thing to know that you can just take this here as well. Also, you can write text over it. So you can just click, choose the font size, and then choose color of it, let's say white, and then I just place it right here. So I just write it, demo creator, and this is all gonna appear in my screen recording. This is so helpful. Of course, when you're done with it, click here on this stop recording button, and then you have the option to preview this one. So this is gonna be the preview, and as you can see, everything that I did in that draw on screen strategy tool, this is just good, even the text. It's just great, it writes all over it, right? So, now, naturally, you want to edit this. You want to merge, split, edit out the pauses and everything. There's two ways. You can export this one or you can just click on advanced editing here. And this is really good because you have all of this inside of one tool, right? You don't have to manually export this one and then add to another one. You can just click on advanced editing and it's going to bring you to something. Yeah, it's a video editor tool, which is simplified, right? You don't have to know a lot. First of all, you've got your media here. You just move it down there, right? So this is your first clip. It'll always ask you about the project settings. You can change this one, keep current. And then I've told you that it can add cursor effects in post, and these are the cursor effects. So you can just move this one to your clip and you'll have that on. Apart from that, you've got a lot of video effects. You've got filters, just like LUTs, if you know what LUTs are. So there's a lot of filters, whatever you use, or if you just record your camera, you've got video effects for your portrait, right? You've got green screen effects. There's numerous features, but what I want to talk about is some of these audio effects. You've got AI voice changer. This can change your voice in any way, shape, or form. Or you have denoise or you have AI vocal remover. So whether you want to just remove a part from the audio or you just want to enhance your speech, you've got AI tools inside of this one. And check this out. If you click here on this button, which is called voice, let's say that you forgot to add something. Well, you can just go over and record your voice and it'll appear on your timeline right away. Apart from that, you can add AI voice, right? No need anymore to use alternative features. Text-to-speech is in there and you've got a lot of these voices to choose from. Let me just show you some of these, let's just take. Wondershare, creativity simplified. So there's a lot of voices that you can use. You just enter the text inside of this box, you choose your person, your AI voice, and it's gonna tell it, right? It's really, really good. Actually, I think this is revolution. You have a link down there in the description. You can just right away go to it and check it out for yourself. It's free to use. Actually, you can just start it out for free and see if it's for you or not. But trust me, this is gonna make your life a lot easier if you're any kind of content creator. Now, if you head over to the website, you can see the pricing of it. I will not waste any more of your time with this. It's not expensive. It's actually the features that you have. I mean, you can record videos up to 4K. You've got these AI avatars. I told you, this is like something that if you, for example, want to make it funny or you just create content which is in need of this, you can check all of those features there and the video editors here. And there's Academy button here. And when you click on that button, you will be redirected here, which is called Demo Creator Hub. And here you've got a lot of tutorials. You've got a lot of things simple short tutorials 
for certain things that you might need. They just thought of everything. Also, you can add subtitles, AI generated subtitles to your vids. I mean, the features are endless. A lot of cool things. They managed to just put all of that into one tool that you can download right now if you click on the link down there in the description. As I've told you, the ultimate tool that you'll ever need. So, wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next video.